in the first part of the measurements we looked at the um, variation of resistance with the length what we like to look at now is to variation of the resistance with the diameter all right so we have to keep the length constant and change the diameter all right so the way we like to do that is take this wire we have all right the total length around uh, 110 centimeters I think I measured that so what we're going to do is I'm going to fold this into first let me fold it into one fold so I get basically uh, make it into uh, two pieces but I just fold it all right and then I'm going to fold it again so just like you see on the instructions we are going to fold it one time to make it half the length and then make fold it again to make one fourth of the length all right so i fold it like that so here is the length i i'm going to use okay this is going to be my length now all right so we do need to know how much is the length so let me measure that length and let you know so i'm going to measure that with the meter stick all right so let me measure that so this length is about All right, so this length is about 27 centimeters all right so our length is going to be 27 centimeters okay so so now what I'm going to do is I'll try to measure the resistance as I change the diameter all right so the way we do that is uh, basically what you do is you put uh, on, on one end you see that the fold is like this and uh, we can put both of them together into the post here all right so let me put that first so i'm going to just put it like this and pull it out like this and i just tighten it tighten it here okay so it's pretty tight there but you see that i do have these four folds all right so what I will do is I'm going to use only one fold first. So let me put this wire here. All right. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just uh, one fold. All right. So I'll take one of the folds I have here like this. And I'll just put that on the red binding post. And you can read the resistance there so you get when I put one fold is 6.2 okay next I'm gonna put two folds all right so I'll remove this I put two folds so I grab two fold mean I can also put the one with the uh, loop in it like this all right so let me put that so I can also open it here put it through the top put it in there pull it out and tighten it nicely and uh, if I put it I'm using only two folds now okay because um, see the other two folds are hanging right here so they are not used okay we had to make sure that we don't touch the wires I guess so let me take that out and leave it there on the other side okay so you see that I have only and also make sure that I don't touch in the two wires so you can see that I have two folds now and you can see the resistance is 3.1. Next, I'm going to put three folds. I grab this one of the third one and also put it there. Okay, so I open this up carefully. And uh, put that one also with the other two I already have. Okay, make sure I'm pulling it out like that. And then put the wire in there and try to tighten it. Hopefully to stay in place otherwise. Okay, try to put it in there and tighten it okay I think you see it now oops let me yes so it's 2.1 next I'm gonna put all four so here's the fourth one I put that also in there so now I have four folds so let me see whether I can put all of them in there oops noise came out so we have to be careful Better make sure all of them are in place now. So let me try it again. OK. 
okay the two is already in there that's easy because it's already together I put the other one one is in there I think but the fourth one doesn't want to go in there one second well no one is still not in one second let me see what I can do here Okay, let me put all four together, put it in there, okay, and touch it. yeah, I think that's about right, it's about 1.6. Okay, so what I have done is I have measured the resistance for one fold, two fold, three fold, and then four fold. So using this, you should be able to see the relationship between the diameter or the number of folds and the resistance. And again, you need to make another graph and then you should be able to find the resistivity again. All right, that's it.